Okay, Shalomam. All right, we the uh, biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right, according to the scripture. All right, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay, and those of you mingle among the heathen and the speckled birds. All right, we come out here every week in the chief place of concourse, all right, to prophesy the downfall of who you sheep will ignorantly refer to as America, which is, among other titles, Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. All right, and to warn you Israelites, all right, that sudden destruction is coming and that you need to turn back to the one you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ. All right, all right, before we get started, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the venerable apostles of the great millstone law, the elders who are ruling well. And we want to say salutations to you, Akim, out there fighting a the good fight. All right, doing this work, sincerely and truthfully throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. And uh, yeah, you know, we're waiting on the, uh, the other Ak. Uh, Lord willing, he'll be here uh, pulling up in a minute. All right. But we're just going to jump right into it. We just going to kind of do an open forum. You know, hey, y'all know what's going on in the world right now, you know? Let's get, uh, unless you got something. Let's get second Ezra. Second Ezra? Uh, yeah, let's get second Ezra 6. Six? Okay. Y'all y'all know what's going on in this world, man. Yeah. You know, y'all, even if you're watching, the, like the brother says, the fluff news, Yeah. okay? Yeah. Even if you're watching mainstream media, mm -hmm. okay, you're seeing things like uh, 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 bottlenecking in the ports, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, delays yeah. and disruptions. Yeah. All throughout the earth regarding the supply chains, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and if you got anything, hey, really fast, yeah. yeah. Um, and the brother is right. I just did a lesson on this uh, on the way up here through the spirit, and they are shoving this down your throat. Every other article is uh, something about the famine and about you know those uh, the bottleneck, you know right. what I'm saying, uh, ships or whatever. That's right. Uh, like the brother was talking about, and they're doing that through uh, to basically uh, get your subconscious ready to absorb what's going to happen. Yeah. Because they've been doing this for years through their media, through their movies, and if they didn't do it that way, more people would revolt and be against it. But since they're using, uh, uh, you know, that sleight of hand, which yeah. e Evil E does, all right, through gradualism, through incrementalism, you're going to be more ready to accept it once it happens because you've already been subconsciously, uh, you know, uh, introduced to it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, man. And it's, it's a thing. They, like the brother said, they, they, they do things very methodically, man. Right? They work off a, off, off a timetable. Now, the Most High is pushing them right now, okay? He's speeding them up, okay? Because, uh, you know, they're, this is the end, man. All right, so now they're starting to do what? They're starting to get sloppy. They're starting to make, you know, rash decisions. They're, they're, over, they're overplaying their hands, so to speak. Yeah. But what I was what I was wanting to get into, you know, I was even in the store the other day looking at, at some of the sparseness of the shelves, man. You know, a lot of holes, like I was, we was in Walmart, and I was just kind of looking around, and you know, it's, it's already, we seeing it here, you know, you're seeing it everywhere, okay? One of these days, you're gonna wake up, and you won't just be able to go and get whatever it is you wanna get. See, you Americans are spoiled, man. Yeah. You know, you've always had everything right there. Yeah. You know, this is a microwave society, and but pretty soon, these, these storehouses that were once full are gonna be empty, man. That's right, you hey, know? Um, and real fast before we get into that, I got some right, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe well, to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, mm -hmm. and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, who knoweth us? And this whole thing is a uh, part of their NWO uh, plan, part of their um, scheme, okay, to um, basically use food, okay, use the bare necessities, the basic uh, needs of life to uses leverage against other uh, people, man. That's right. All right, and they've been doing this under the radar. They've been doing this, okay, Michael 2 and one states, man. All right, uh, because it's in the power of their hand. That's right. You know? That's right. Hey, uh, beautiful. Uh, um, I can get that one. Yeah, yeah Kyle, go ahead. Because that was, uh, I was thinking of the Micahs. Yep. You know, Micahs were, uh, uh, right now, like the brother said, they're, they're still, these elites, all right, the Dukes of Edom, okay, these Jewish and our bankers, they're still in the power system. Yep. Okay, so, they're they're doing all kinds they're throwing out all kinds of enchantments. All right, they're uh, going to their guys, which ultimately they're going to Satan. All right, and they're and they're uh, 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 devising up all these schemes. Okay, and they have their secret council. But like the brother just read, hey, woe's coming to them for that, man. Yeah, because they think they're they they literally think they are doing things in secret and nobody's gonna find out. About right. The book. We, do we know about the we know about the, yeah. We know about the council on foreign relations. Come on, man. We know about all that. We know about your Freemasonic yeah. societies. Yeah. We know all this stuff, man. 
through the uh, power and spirit of by Samir Hassan. Yeah. He, he revealed all that, man. Yeah, that skirt has yeah. been lifted. That's man. right, bro. Uh, Micah 2 and 1. Yeah. Oh, you had something? No, I'm going to get that, okay. but you get that. Yeah. Micah 2 and 1. Mm -hmm. Woe to them that devise iniquity yeah. and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right, that's coming, man. And the morning is about to be light, but they're about to, they're practicing it right now, but they're about to go into full force. All right, uh, as we're soon in Revelation 12 and uh, 12. Man. That's right. All right, because they know they have but a short time, so now they're about to put the squeeze on people, man. Either you're going to get down with our program or you're going to lay down. That's right. Okay. That, and, and it's coming, and we're right on the cusp of that. Happening. Yeah, like, he, brother even did a lesson, get down and lay down. Yeah. And that's, because yep. that, they're going to be, look, his days are trying to sweet talk you. You know, what happened when the so-called white man came to the Americas, right? His right. words were smoother than butter. butter yep. Right? But what was in his what was in his heart? Strong swords. Right, yeah, wars yeah, in his yeah. heart. And behind his back was strong swords. Right. And behind his back was strong swords. Yeah. They're getting to the time now where they don't give a shit no more. Right. They ain't yeah. gonna care about the sweet words, man. Yep. This devil are uh, creepy. He done told you, <laughs> man, we're gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah. So yeah. They're getting ready to come, man. Yeah. They're getting ready to come, but uh, and then they're they're right now demonizing yeah. the ones that uh don't have don't have no Vanessa, man. Yeah. Well, uh, I even I even seen an uh, article which I think you you probably seen it. They're saying that the reason they're gonna blame the unjab yeah. for this yeah. bottlenecking yeah. and this uh, uh yeah. court yeah. back yeah. blockage yeah. issue, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. That, so who do you think they're gonna come after first? You think yeah. you is white? Primarily they're gonna get some problems first and foremost, That's right. right? But then they're gonna come against everybody. Because you got heathen and East, even even Edomites that are uh, anti yeah. some of these agendas and some of these initiatives yeah. right, this madman has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But their ultimate target is you Israelites. That's right. That's right. right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 47. Verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. That's right. And for the longest, all right, uh, their their operation, the beast and their whole kingdom, all right, has been called tender and delicate because it hasn't been touched, man. All right, it was once uh, the, the the hammer of the whole earth, man. Yeah. People were, were scared to come up against Babylon the Great, scared. But now everybody's like, hey, the Lord has opened up the armies of all these nations that surround them, man. Yeah. All right, and uh, hey, read that. Uh, read it again, yeah, brother. Yeah. Isaiah chapter forty-seven and one. And the reeds come down and sit in the dust, yeah. O virgin daughter of Babylon. And the virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about America, man. Okay? And that dust represents confusion in a low place that sit on the ground. Okay? Sit on the ground because right now they're exalted. They're in a high place, but the Lord is going to knock them down to the ground, to the size of the pit, man. That's right, brother. That's right. It says, uh, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. And that's when Yahweh comes back and heaps all those crowns on his head. And that main crown is America, Babylon, the Great, because the NATO and EU are they're splitting up, man. All right, these these, uh, these kingdoms are against hey, each other. Man. Now Poland, not to uh, you know go too far off. Now Poland is talking about exiting uh, 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 the EU. Yeah. So they're talking about whole exit now. <laughs> oh, you shit. know. So Brexit, Con. whole exit, Con. whole exit, Brexit, Brexit. You know, because like the brother yeah. said, but this is prophecy, man. right? You know, that right. just that's going into yeah. a kingdom being divided itself and not not being able to stand. Right? That's right. All right. Yeah. It says, "For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right. Take the millstones and grind mill. Yeah. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh pass over the rivers." And that's what we do, man. Hey, uncover the lock. Hey, everything is being uncovered, man. Right. Okay, the dastardly deeds of, of how um, they're working uh, under the radar, how they acquired their mass uh, mass riches, right. okay, by slavery, yeah. deceit, right. rape, robbery, and murder. Right. Right. And everything, the uh, tarnished history yeah. and the embarrassing way of how they got their riches, yeah. because the scriptures say, woe to them that uh, get their riches by deceit, See, right? That's right. They've gotten everything, they didn't get everything that they got, uh, uh, that they have right now, head up. Yeah. You know? Well, let me let me get something real quick, brother. Yeah. Back you up, I'm gonna yeah. hold that. Let's go to uh, Sirach, um, Sirach, let me go to Sirach chapter 10, yeah. verse eight, because- I never want to jump back in through the spirit, I got this. It's calm, 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 yeah, calm, yeah, calm, calm. Can we get back to it? Calm. Yeah. This is uh, Sirach chapter 10, in uh -huh. uh, verse eight, because of unrighteous dealings, yep. Injuries and riches got by the sea. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right. Yeah. So because you've gotten your riches deceitfully, okay? Because the Lord deals, uh, the Lord, uh, he rather you be head up, man. Right? The Lord doesn't deal with deceit and, and trickery. Right. 
right. and sorcery. And false balances. And, yeah, and false balances. Yeah. You know, hey, that's, that's an abomination that y'all about to me outside. Right. You know? Right. And how, how, how is Israel going to get the kingdom back, man? Yeah. All right. They're going to get it back uh, righteously and rightfully by destroying everybody, man. Yeah. That's how you get a kingdom. You, yeah. you square up, head up, yeah. okay, and the victor of that battle yeah. of that war acquires that kingdom not yeah. by the seats not by right. how esau even has uh, been right removed, right yeah no, and no other hey yeah yeah uh rulership changes hands through uh, uh, uh hey no king just walks up the enemy and says here i'm just gonna hand you everything right you know yep. there's gonna be a violent transfer of power man that's right you know and rightfully so but we waiting on yah by some outside because the scripture says to wait ye upon me until the day I rise up to the fray, so yeah. what's up, brother? You know you're Israelite? Yeah. Okay, okay. What uh what tribe are you from? Uh, so called Negro? Yahuda, Judah. Okay, that's the see day. Portugal and Spain, banished and Angola, and then brought to the Americas. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right, brother. See, hey man, our people are waking up. We're not calling ourselves black, we're not calling ourselves African American, which doesn't make any sense at all. And, and they know that and my they're, my words. yeah. And they're, they're, you know, they're getting their panties in the bus, so to say. They're like, oh, the people are waking up. Yeah. Oh, so they're not accepting being called a color anymore? Yeah. They're not accepting um, ha um, having no documented history? Yeah. Their history was brought over here on slave ships, and whatever yeah. you've done in America is your history. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not like that. Anymore. Right. You scattered us to the four corners of the earth. That's right. That's right. That's, right. That's prophecy. Man. Right. Yep. And just uh, being in the Valley of the Dry Bones, the yep. Lord said he was going to raise up a, a great city army. Yep. Okay. And that primarily is taking place in Babylon. Right. Ezekiel 37, right? Ezekiel 37, right. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see y'all out here. Oh, yeah, man. So y'all in a camp? Yeah, this, in yeah camp? this is our camp, Men of Valor. What's uh, name? Men of Valor. Men of Valor. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Men of Valor, South Carolina. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think I'm very good. Yeah, we have uh, our main camp is in New Jersey. Men of Valor, so we're basically on the GMS. Yeah, okay, yeah. on the GMS. Yeah. Yeah. One West. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's the doctor. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got you, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, man, y'all keep on doing uh, Elohim's work, man. Sure. All right. Yeah, I really know. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, man. Shalom, man. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Well, that in itself is prophecy. Yeah. You know? Hey, like I say, man, and that's another reason these elites, like the brother was going into, these elites are petrified, man. Yeah, they should work. Because the, the gimmicks and tricks don't work no more. No. You know? It's, it's, not, it's through. That's why the elders always talk about through, through, through. 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 Everything is about this place is completely through yep. okay yep. everything that's right all right um now nakedness uh, isaiah 47 yep. the nakedness shall be uncovered yeah that's that shame shall be seen mm -hmm. I, I will take vengeance and i will not meet thee as a man now what's that shame man we are we are part of that prophecy coming to pass man we are telling you the wicked things and the things that they've paid billions of dollars the tr maybe even trillions up until this point to try to sweep under the rug Unknown. all right they want to take the, uh, they want to take uh, the documentation of slavery yeah. out of the schools now. Yeah. What kind yeah. of stuff is that? Yeah. It, it happened. Yeah. Oh, are y'all ashamed of it now? Yeah. Well, don't the scriptures say <laughs> shameful spewing yeah. shall be on that glory? Yeah. So all this shameful spewing is being done now, man. That's right. no, it's like that Pandora's box. You know, that once that thing is open, it's it. That's it. There ain't no putting it back in nope. and get things back together. Nope. You know. Yep. Y'all, so y'all are being exposed. Um, let me, uh, let me get, uh, can, oh, okay, this is what I want to get, uh, Psalm 64. Okay. Because uh, King David, Malak Dawadah, he prayed to be hidden from these secret, secret yeah. councils, yep. man. Yep. All right? Yep. This yep. is um, uh, Psalm 64, 1. Hear my voice, O yep. most high power. In my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Yep. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, Ooh. from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. That's right. Hey, and uh, Psalm 17 uh, also talks about uh, the wicked being his sword, man, being the most high sword. So the Lord is going to use uh, the wicked, all right, evil eat, to be a sword to the earth, you know, and to punish his people. Right. You know, but hey, uh, Malak Dawada, you know, understood that through the spirit and prayed that the Lord keep him from, you know, uh, uh, being a part of the casualties of evil eat. Man. Yeah, Khan, so, you know, we, as obviously King David, you know, the, uh, who will sit on his throne all uh, right when the kingdom is reestablished in righteousness up under you, how right? He prayed to be hidden from the secret council. So in these last days, you know, brothers is praying, you know, hide me from this enemy, man. Yeah. You know, and we, uh, you know, you can go to Psalm 91. You know, we can take refuge, refuge 
underneath the shadow of the Almighty. Yep. You know? Yep. So we got to be praying. Yep. Because this devil is getting ready to come so hard. See, a lot yeah. of you, a lot of you have been uh, lulled to sleep yeah. uh, because the bread and circus has still got you, hook, line, and sinker. Uh, but you, you in a, you in a catatonic like state spiritually, yeah. right? So and you have forgotten because, because you think, well, I can go out and I can go out tonight and I can grab a drink, I can get something to eat, I can go do this or that. So you thinking, you thinking you're free, right? So you thinking, oh, this dude ain't really so bad. I got da 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 da. No, yeah. man, he's getting ready. That old ancient hatred yeah. is getting ready to bubble up to the top, man. Yeah. And you, and we can already see through the spirit yeah. based on how these so-called leaders are, are talking, man. Yeah. They come, the mask is off, and they coming right out and saying yeah. really draconian things. Oh, man. that's beautiful. I, yeah. That's the spirit. I was just thinking of that. Man. Yeah. And uh, dra uh, draconian laws yeah. that uh, he's make as a dragon yeah. uh, goes into yeah. Draco. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, which is an Athenian lawgiver, man. Right. 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 And most of his laws are punishable by death, man. And that's what they're going to do, right? They, yeah. They're going to ultimately uh, uh, establish or mandate that MOTB and use death as, you know, punishment for not doing it. Man. Yeah. And that's a harsh, harsh punishment, taking somebody's life just because they're not doing your evil, wicked will. Now, say if this was in the law, statutes, and commandments for them to do anything, which they're profane, lest it be any profane person is Esau. Right. Okay. They're right. they're profane. They can't. they everything that they do is literally against the scripture. They do it on purpose because it's in them to do it. Right. They're the adversary, yeah. devil, Satan. Yeah. I mean, a uh, 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 deceiver. They're uh, also known as Satan, the adversary. And that old man. serpent, man. Serpent. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. like I say, the so-called white man, he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. Man. Yeah. And you guys, you hey. Two thirds of Israelites are about to see that, man. That's right. You know, and it's but a lot of y'all for two for two thirds of you, it's gonna be too late, man. You're gonna see it, and you're gonna be like, yeah. uh, and then nothing to waste you except death by pain. Man. Yeah, you're gonna get you tricked. Know? You're gonna hit, be with your family. This is gonna be just one scenario that might happen. You with your family, and you see some Edomites. Like, oh, you know, hey, it's white people. You're like, oh, okay, they're gonna help us, yeah. and then. They take your wife and kids and they're doing whatever yeah. to them and you're getting you're getting your damn face stumped in and all you seeing is blood and now you're realizing, oh, this man is a devil. Yeah. While you're blacking out going into the spiritual yeah. world, getting yeah. your fucking yeah. face stumped in, yeah. knowing your family is getting ravished right. and your wife is getting ravished and your you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what yeah. the most high knows what he's gonna do to your children. Uh -huh. You know, that's when you're gonna know at that point right. when it's too fucking late. Yeah. That yeah. this man is the is, is the wicked that the yeah. Lord set up, but the hey, from the spirit probably how about shooting out the shot? We know that, yeah. right now. That's right. That's you know? right. Yeah, the Lord. Hey, oh, the I Lord. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, before you get that, you said something. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld and another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Okay, so right there, like the brother said, Draco. All right, going into uh, uh, his draconian measures really harsh and severe penalties were enforced, you know, and that's exactly the time we're going into. All right, look, you're already seeing people lose their livelihoods yep. because they don't want to have something forced on them, man. Right. And that's that's wicked. If, if, I'm, if I'm saying, look, it's your livelihood or you got to take this stick or this yeah. dart, that's wicked as hell, man. That's very wicked. You know, because first of all, this, this dragon juice isn't even uh, uh, FDA right. uh, approved yet. Right. You know, second of all, that's coercion, man. Yeah. That's forcing someone to do something. Because you have many, many of us even, who would say that we want an exemption, a religious, so-called religious exemption. No, yeah. you can't. And it's yeah. going to get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter until, like you said, the penalty is death, man. Right. It won't just be you lost your gig or you can't go into a supermarket. Right. It'll be you're going to a forced labor camp yeah. and then you're going to be, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen to you. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And, that, and that's the times that we're, we're approaching, man. Yeah. And y'all people out here are not arming yourselves, uh, spiritually depart in this place because we're not saying that we're these tough guys and we're gonna just, oh, hey, whatever um, happens, you know, uh, I'm gonna fight nail and tooth. Yeah. I'm gonna take out as many as I can and I'm gonna die on my sword. Yeah. No, man, we're uh, depending on the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. We're depending on, and that part, and the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. I got my, uh, my precept back I was uh, thinking about. Um, I will bring these uh, new Jackson 12 out, but basically we're going to need this divine intervention, man. Yeah. The Lord's going to have to raise up a standard. Uh -huh.
you know? And Logan had to raise up a standard yeah. to uh, get us out of here. He's going to have to, man. Now you're seeing these damn robotic dogs. They can literally shoot you, man. So they got, yeah, they strapped. They yeah. These little dogs are strapped. So yeah. drones that are going to be surveilling, you know, and all these things. You say, well, that's only happening over here. That's happening yeah. out there in Australia. No, those things are coming right here, man. Those are beta tests. Yeah, beta, right. We always talk about how they, they beta test things in certain places to see how that population group is going to respond. Right. Right. So they use places like Australia. You know, they using they using Australia to do. Yeah. All kinds of the tests. Land down under, really. Right. Yeah, they really the, getting it down Oman, there. Nomen, 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 Nomen. Right. They really getting it down there, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, the UK is getting it. Yeah. Uh, you know, but but all these things, not to belabor it, is coming over here, man. Yeah. yeah. It, it's coming to the glory of the child. Right. Excellence, man. Right. And you got to look. Everything's happening over there in the UK, yeah. in Australia. Australia uh, is owned by the UK, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically them uh, yeah. high level leaders running the better tests are basically on their own grounds yep. because they you know they're hitting the bargains they're out in the woods they're they're away from all that yep. they're zip for it but they want to see it they want to right. see how it's going to yep. first hand so you yep. know it's like yep. conducting a test and just right. looking you know what i'm saying yep. right on the outside to see how yep. it's going to go so yep. that's why it says uk australia yep. france you know all all of those yep. uh, uh, uh european countries man. God, and, and the other thing is too real quick before you read that precept this, this is the most heavily armed civilian population on the planet. Yep. Okay, so yep. that's another reason they kind of being uh, 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 as methodical as they're being. Because mm -hmm. they can't just come out and do that. There's too many, they got, they had, to, their birthright was the Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms. So yeah. that's kind of holding it back yeah. a little bit as well. They kind of went against them. Right. They, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that, actually, yeah, that's going to backfire on them. You think they're going to take over Texas, the, the, the largest states? With the most uh, liberal gun right. dog, yeah, they be talking. Most free gun, come on, man. They be talking about the, the S word that leaving the so called you. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, you know, like, I got some notes on you, bro. Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. So, sh so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and His glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, we just said uh, that the enemy's gonna come down or uh, have a great wrath. Okay, because you know they have for a short time. Right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And what's that standard, man? Divine intervention. The Lord's going to have to have uh, the angels that are invisible around us right now to really show themselves. And part of that is going to be giving a certain of brothers spiritual powers, yeah, man. Yeah. To be able to uh, uh, get out of it because we, yeah. we, we're helpless, man. I mean, we're helpless. We don't, we don't have guns. You know, uh, we don't... Uh, I mean, we're like we're like yeah. another, we're like another sheep. sheep to the slaughter. Yeah, we, the scripture says that we're like like sheep led to the slaughter. But what's the power though? The power is the Lord right. being on our side. That's, right. that's, that's right. gonna magnify the Lord even yeah. that much more, man. That's right. That that's how His name is gonna be exalted right. in this earth again, man. Yeah. When because when uh, Jake starts seeing this thing, and that's another thing, a lot of you unbelievers right now, you know, the scripture says, "My people shall be ready and willing." In the day of thy power. Yeah. So a lot of y'all are gonna have a, for a lot of y'all literally seeing is believing, man. Yeah. So you're gonna have to see that divine intervention. The brother just read about that standard being lifted. Then you're gonna be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. how about see me right. outside. And then it's too okay. late. And yeah. Because then that might that's where this probably might turn around and destroy you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You come an yeah. uh, unbeliever coming up, oh I believe now. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how and that's yeah. the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. It's still the Lord gonna be angry like yeah. Why, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it, it talks about the Lord mocking at you when yeah. your fear comes, yeah. right? And laughing at your calamities. Yep, yep, that's right, bro. I got some. Uh, it says your enemy, right? Uh, when, I just, when I just read, uh, Sirach 12 and verse not, uh, 10. Yeah. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rust, if so is his wickedness. Uh -huh. All right, and the enemy, okay, the, uh, uh, the, <laughs> the dastardly one. <laughs> The arch nemesis yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Israelites, yeah. of Jacob, is Esau. Yeah. So that is our mortal enemy. Man. All of the nations are our enemy, but the, uh, the, that dastardly devil, uh, known as Evil E, uh, the so-called white man, is our mortal enemy. Okay? And it says never to trust our enemy because it says, for as like as rust, uh, iron rusts, so is his wickedness. And I bring this out a lot through the spirit. When iron grabs onto a hole of a metal, it can't be reversed, man. Just right. as uh, the, the Most High uh, made Esau Edom to be the wicked, all right, when you go into the book of Malachi, yeah. 
It talks about uh, them being the border of wickedness of whom the Lord have any nation with forever. Right. All right. Yeah. So you can't trust this man because he was meant to do yeah. what he's gonna do, man. Then, hey, who who will uh, uh, pity a, ser a charmer yeah. when they're bitten by a serpent? You know what nah, that, nah, that's a rhetorical good. question. And, yeah. <laughs> Meaning there's an obvious answer to it. Ain't nobody gonna do that. Man. That's right. And then no. who is the serpent? It, right. it all comes back. Who, who's that? Who is uh, uh, that crooked serpent? Right. Uh, uh, that piercing serpent, Leviathan. Yeah. Not not the one, not the beast in the sea, right. but it, it going to Revelation, uh, that, that Revelation 12 and 6. Yes. 12. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it talks about, uh, uh, you know, uh, we can get it. Coming in like a. Uh, uh, it says the uh, the old serpent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, that's Revelation 12. Yeah, that's that's talking about Esau Edom. That's not yeah. talking about uh, yeah. an actual snake. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yep. That talks about the mannerisms that he possessed. He was snake-like, and he was around. In yep. we it's not like a, a broken record, but this yeah. is the basis that in the milk that our people don't get. Yeah, exactly. Because it talks about we don't got to get into it. It talks about the dragon yeah. drawing down the uh, yep. Twelve draw, stars. Draw, drawing down the, the, the stars. Which a third, that's yep. talking about him taking out the southern yep. kingdom yep. due to yep. Levi and Benjamin. Yep. Okay, a third, a third of the stars from heaven fell. That's right. That's you Israelites, man. That's right. Dumbass. That's right. And the dragon is Esau. That's right. Um, okay, because at the time, yep. Yep. John the Revelator was on the scene, who was ruling? Yep. The Herodians. Yep. Yep. The Herodian dynasty. Yep. The Edomites, man. That's right. Yep. Okay, so, hey. Yeah. Hey, how many times we gotta tell y'all, man? Right. Y'all need to go to the correct teachers, man. Yeah. Don't be screwing around right now yeah. with anybody outside of the elder apostles of the great right. Right. So on down to every man yeah. doing the same, uh, 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 singing the same uh, uh, new song. Man. Yeah, and this is not no game. Just like this brother right. that just came up here, right. he knew he was an Israelite, but yeah. that's not it. Right. You gotta get, if yeah, you're yeah. a man, yeah. you need to get into this and see if you're apt to teach and see if the Lord is dealing with you to teach. If not, then at least you tried and you gotta fulfill your measure some way. Well, uh, you can't just sit on this, man. Tom, but he's, uh, uh, my brother said Elo Elohim when yeah. uh, he was Come leaving. On, so look, we ain't gonna, yeah. we ain't gonna jump down the right. door like right. that because right. he was sincere. Now, nah, it's been a couple years ago. Right. <laughs> but you know, I see. Yeah, he's sincere. He's sincere. Yeah. But uh, he might do some dil do a diligent search. Yeah. He might do his research. But right. the bottom line is, uh, 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 the scripture talks about if you're an Israelite male, yeah. covet the, the promise man. Yeah. Hey, if, if you if you're sitting on any kind of talent right now, you better you better you better drag your your ass out to the highways and hedges and start to teach. You better just, yeah. you better you, you better do that. You better go on the. I'm talking about even if it's in front of us. Hey, you better try to get, get wherever you can get. Get, get wherever you can get in, in some public place, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, because we you, know yeah. not every brother has access to certain. Going to but the chief but you can, you can get somewhere, man. Yeah, somewhere. Or you can pray to the Lord and just yeah. see. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, it's too late to gain not to know this stuff. It's too man. late. It's too late. It's too late, it's too late to play around if you right. know it, man. Right. All right. Yep. But you was talking about. Uh, who was reading uh, about? Never trust on him. Yeah, I, right? I got some more. Okay, go uh, verse 11. Though he humble himself yeah. and go crouching, what is he known for doing? Yeah. Public, oh yeah. Um, government aid, uh, oh peace. Uh, yeah, we yeah, want everybody yeah. uh, to come together. Reparations. Reparations. Yeah. Uh, 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 Democratic Party. Right. Republican Party. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you, uh, yeah, take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as thou have wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, and through the spirit, like uh, the brother uh, uh, was going into, we are uh, uncovering, the Lord is uncovering the wicked ways of this man. We're looking at him as we're looking through a clear looking glass, man. We got right on you, man. We on your ass through the spirit of our yeah. God, we our shop, yeah. man. You're not going to uh, fool any of the elect. If it were possible, they would fool yeah. even the elect. Yep. With lying wonders, man. Yeah. Who's working is after Satan, man. Yeah. This, uh, the, the scriptures always tie into it. It, yeah. it just goes back to yeah. the point. Whatever point you're trying yeah. to make, there are scriptures on scriptures, yeah. lying on lying, piece of what we said, going back and forth on what we're talking about. Right now, we're talking about who Satan is yeah. and, and, and what they're going to do, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, beautiful, because uh, you just said something. I was gonna get uh, his word is after oh, saying, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. God, this is uh, Second Thessalonians. All right, and I'm gonna just get right to the point. It says, <laughs> no, 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 I'll start. Yeah. All right, Second Thessalonians two and verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not. So, it's right there. Let no man deceive you by any means. That's right. And what is who is Esau, the deceiver? Okay. 
Now, the Bible does say that the seed and the deceiver are his, but the primary deceiver in the earth, what the word devil means. Right. Uh, 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 the word devil means deceiver. That's right. Okay? But, so it says, let, uh, uh, it's like a no man deceive you by enemy, yeah. but that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, yeah. and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And, that, and that's the son of destruction, which yeah. Esau eat on. That's right. And they look. We already fell away. Yeah. There's been a falling away from our power, man. Yeah. Hellenization, yeah. Uh, 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 the, the dispersing yeah. from one corner to the other yeah. of the of the earth, or the four corners of the yeah. earth, getting yeah. so far away from our power uh -huh. to where it had to take your house out on that cross to break the reconcile he ate yeah. us back to bring us back. That's right, he we, had to. He had to. Yeah. He had to. He had to uh, uh, sacrifice his his, his beloved son. Yeah. That's how bad it got. Yeah. No other sacrifice would do. Yeah. When you think his, about it, right? his precious blood. His precious blood is what brought blood. us back yeah. in this time. Man. Yeah, kind of, That's like, how far away we got. So kind of. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, beautiful. Because and, and this this is going in. We always say 70 AD. But you yeah. know, between 66 and 70 AD, yeah. what would happen? Yeah. Uh, the Southern Kingdom primarily was dispersed into yep. uh, 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 northwestern portions of the land of Ham, which is right. called Africa. Yep. Okay, and, 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 yep. and eventually into the four corners of the earth through uh, uh, chattel slavery, yep. in and over here in Babylon. That's right. right? So totally, like Jeremiah said, yep. discontinued from, from our heritage. Yep. You know, yep. calling ourselves all these proverbs and bywords. Yep. And, 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 and so, yeah, it took something so colossal. And there ain't even a word for it, really. You can't, you can't even camp that word. But, uh, so, so now because we know who was behind all that, yeah. right? That's the yeah. son of perdition. He's been yeah. revealed. Yeah. Okay? Uh, it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself mm -hmm. above all that is called the Most High Power. Above Lord. all. Yeah. And what? We were called after the Most High's name. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That includes that. That's yeah. what they do. Yeah. That ought to piss you off. Right. Yeah. Well, that really literally ought to piss you off, man, because he set himself up. Oh, he said, yeah. Lord, that is worship. So that he as the Most High Power sitteth in the temple of the Most High Power, showing himself that he is the Most High Power. Come on, man. And, it, and, it, and this wicked man has done that many times, yeah. even in small, uh, 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 minuscule points in time where uh, the actual Edomite actually did that. Look at uh, the worst of Antiochus Epiphanes, man. When he took over and he uh, wanted uh, 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 put out a decree for us to defame, uh, 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 profane the Sabbath. We couldn't even call ourselves Jews, man. Yeah. You couldn't circumcise your son. You couldn't sons circumcise your son. Day. Like the brother was yeah. saying, you had Jews sewing on foreskins back on themselves. Yeah. What kind of shit is that, man? Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. and that's part, that that's that's what they do. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and they're they, doing it now and, spiritually. Yeah. yeah. And they're getting ready to do it physically. On a hot, yeah. Uh, uh, back you know again. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that time of the Maccabees is not yeah. at hand, man. Yeah. History repeats itself, yep. man. There ain't yep. no new thing under the sun. That's right. right. It says, remember ye not that I was with you, verse 5. I told you these things, yeah. and now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Okay, so that is, this is his time of being, of the revealing, man. This is the revealing time. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already.